welcome to another Let's Bake video with me, Mummy Ducky, and today we're going to do some Halloween cupcakes. Okay, and for the ingredients for the cupcakes, you will need 110 grams, 4 ounces of self-raising flour, 110 grams, 4 ounces of butter, 2 eggs, lightly beaten, 110 grams or 4 ounces of caster sugar, uh, one and a half tablespoonfuls of milk. You'll need a teaspoonful of vanilla essence and if you want to colour your sponges, any colour that you need. I'm going to do orange today. Okay, right, so what I've done now, I've added the butter and the sugar to the mixer and then what we need to do is we need to mix this now until it's a nice creamy pale colour. I usually use the mixer on high for this and it'll take a couple of seconds. Okay, okay. just look at that and that's a nice pale colour, nice and soft. There we go. Okay. Now to this mixture we then add the flour and the eggs, but I do it in a special way. You can put all the mixture in together if you like and just mix it, but I'll show you doing this because I feel it makes a lighter sponge. So what I do is in there I've whisked, lightly beaten the egg and then I just add about a quarter of the egg and what I do is I add just a dessert spoonful of the sieved flour and then what I tend to do is I mix that until it's all mixed up and by adding the flour we'll stop the mixture from curdling so we'll just put that on now until it's all beaten up and then what you do is you can repeat that until all your egg mixture is gone and you're left just left with the flour so I'll just start that now okay so I've done that with all the egg and all the eggs in there and now what I need to do is you need to add the rest of the flour And then what you need to do then is gradually fold the flour in so not mix it too much. I usually put it on a mixer for about, well, usually like the lowest amount until all the flour has been folded in. Okay, so that's all folded in. Now, just quickly, if you haven't got a mixer and you need to fold in the flour, always use a metal spoon to do it with and use, just scoop it round, don't mix it, just scoop it round, round the bowl, folding it in until all the mixture is done. But if you do use a mixer, just put it on um, the, meat, the uh, very low setting. So that's what we've done now. And then what we need to do is we need to add a bit of flavour, so I use one teaspoon of vanilla essence, and that goes in there, like that. And because I want these to be a little bit orangey for Halloween, I'll just add the orange colour, like that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add half the milk and just see what the consistency is. You'll just need to have a little dropping consistency, which I'll show you as it's done. So you just need to put this again on a low setting. Okay, so we've mixed that up. All nice. And what I've done here is a muffin, I've got a 12 muffin tin case and lined it with the little paper cases. I've used purple for Halloween and then I usually use these big spoons. What we need to do is very carefully fill half the cases with your sponge mix. Be careful not to get the sides. It won't matter if a little bit falls on the sides, that's fine. But a little bit better if you can try and get in the middle. Okay. And there should be enough mixture here to do 12 
nice cupcakes. So I've done all 12 there, evenly spaced as much as you can. Uh, I've created the oven to 180 degrees which is 350 degrees Fahrenheit gas mark 4 and I'll place these in the middle of the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes or until the tops are lightly golden and how you test them is you use your take cake tester just place it in the middle of the cake if it comes out clean they're ready if there's a little bit of mixture left put them back in for about a minute and just keep testing them until they're ready but they usually take between 12 and 15 so I'll put those in the oven now Right, okay so the cakes are in the oven and while the cakes are in the oven I thought we'd just make the buttercream so in the actual mixing bowl I've actually put 100, 250 grams of icing sugar and 30 grams of cocoa powder I've added the cocoa powder because I want to make the buttercream as dark as I can um, to form the body of the spider also I'm going to put in 140 grams 5 ounces of butter and a little bit of milk and then these are what we're going to use to decorate the spiders I've used some chocolate light and dark chocolate sprinkles some little jelly beans and some candy like uh, laces uh, these are the coca-cola ones you can have the strawberry ones whatever you want okay so that's what we need for the uh, buttercream icing so what I've done is I've just put the butter in with the icing sugar and cocoa powder. Now the reason why I haven't softened the butter beforehand, it's already softened because of the lights, So, um, but on the method it does say just to gently um, soften the butter and then gradually add the icing sugar, but as I say because I've done it in this way it's all nice and soft anyway. And then what we need to do is just turn that um, just until it's all mixed together. So there we go, nice mixture there. So I haven't added any of the milk in this one because the mixture is quite soft. You'll know when you uh, see it yourself. So I'll just get the bits from around the side. Get one big, one final mix. And as you can see, it's a nice consistency there and then what I'm going to do now is also put this in the fridge to wait for the cakes to cook and cool down and then we can start to decorate so all the 12 cakes have come out and they're all nice and cool so this is the best bit is to decorate them so what you need to do is you need to get A bit of the buttercream on top of your cupcake and just push it into the sides like so there you go and then get another bit to form a little bit of a a dome for the, the spider's body like that okay and see how that goes and then the next thing is to very carefully dip it into the sugar strands like that there you go and then the next thing is we add the eyes you can use anything for the eyes you can use M&M's, Smarties, anything like that and I've used the jellies like that, the green ones then what we do for the legs is you can measure little bit and if I cut that one off like that let's just see if that's okay 
and then we push it into the buttercream like that bend it a little bit and see if that works like that it's a little bit bendy but that's a spider and then what we'll do is we'll just do eight seven more of those got eight eggs that's three four five Six, seven, let's see how those they look. So we'll put one there like that. And another one like that. And you can do these have a bit of time so you can set them more looking creepy. Like that. And one in there, like that. One more there. And another one. A bit more. That one. And there's the eight legs of the spider. And there you go, that's your little spider cupcake and you can carry on doing that with the ball until they're all done. So there you go, all 12 cupcakes decorated to look like scary spiders. I hope you've enjoyed watching this Let's Bake video and all that uh, I need to do now is to wish you a very happy and safe Halloween and I look forward to seeing you again to my Let's Bake video. Bye!